said in my last video, I came back to check on my trigger camps. That was actually just a couple of days ago. So today is now Friday. I am spending the weekend here for three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm actually at a developed campsite and this is one of the very few ones that we can camp now because they closed almost everything again. I'm not really sure why, but I can also have a campfire. So that's kind of exciting, probably the last one this year. And I am at 7,800 feet, so it's not quite that high. I'm going to take a quick little hike Today, this is already the afternoon, so I have a few hours. Um, I'm going to basically just hike up on this hill. This is a very good area all around. I've actually been here before. That was two years ago, so we'll see what I find. And then tomorrow, I'm going to make a whole day of it. I'm going to go back to the same spot where I backpack to and I have my trail camps, and then I'm going to explore that whole area because after I looked at the map there's a lot going on back there so we'll see that and then Sunday I don't know yet I'll either go back or I'll look for another area and that will be it so this is just me and the doggy and I bought a new tent <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it um, I've been wanting to get a teepee style tent ever since last year when I was in Montana and I stayed at this campsite that had these really cool canvas TP tents. So this one I got, um, I think it's okay. I don't know. It's not that big. It was supposed to be able to fit like a queen size mattress in it or something. And my cot fits on one side and you could put another cot on the other side and that's it. So it's basically a two person tent, not like, I think it said six person or five person. And I don't think it's that good quality. It was almost $200, which is not too bad, but I don't think the quality is that great, so I might end up sending it back. We'll see how it works out. I am going to pack up a few things, you know, just some food, water, things like that. And me and Misha are just going to actually walk out from this campsite, which is really cool. As soon as I left, it started sprinkling a little bit and I could hear these really loud thunders. I don't know if you could hear them, but they were super loud and they kept going on. So I didn't know what to do, but after about 20 minutes, I decided to turn around and by the time I got back, we actually got some heavy rain. So all I could do was sit in my tent all cooped up and now I know I don't even like this kind of tent because because it's a, a teepee style, you cannot actually open the door when it's raining or if it was snowing to look out because everything will fall inside. I actually left the door open and some rain got inside of it. So definitely don't like it because I was sitting in there for a couple of hours and um, it was just kind of boring and claustrophobic a little bit. It's a small tent. And then a couple of hours later, the rain was gone. So I got out, make some dinner while I could. And I was even able to make a campfire and just kind of sat there and read my book and relaxed. Then I went to sleep. So day one, hike and scout. That was basically not happening. I couldn't wait to come back and check on my trail cams and they were a disappointment. That's why I usually don't get excited because then I just get my feelings hurt. So first of all, I hike up um, to the same spot coming down to the lake and there are people here. There's like 10 people, two families or something, kids, um, you know, parents and fishing and hearing, you know, loud, hearing their voices from far. So. I was like, well, let's hope my trail cam is there. It was, and it didn't really capture much. So anyways, I took it down and I went out to the other trail cam.
um, the area I focused on was the actual um, place where the deer would probably cross to drink out of the stream. That was nothing. I actually came across it and the trail cam, of course, videoed me and the dog. So if there were any deer doing the same thing, they would have been on the trail cam and that was nothing really. So, so I picked that up and took it with me. And I feel like if people are actually going there, um, it's not a good area. So I decided to hike up behind that meadow. There's actually a road there, so I kind of went to the side and that's a huge remote area. I actually came up to 9,600 feet, almost 97. I was actually on the top. There's nowhere higher to go from there. And it's all flat. I mean, hardly any trees, no shade. There are absolutely no signs of any activity whatsoever. So I'm just basically going down. Um, it's a little, you know, work around to go back to the same spot where I came from, but um, I'm just trying to explore this area, just going super slow. It's really steep. I'm just going very, very slow. Maybe I see something, but I'm just looking for signs, but it doesn't seem promising. So this is kind of, um, I don't want to say disappointing because this is why people scout. So you're not wasting your six weeks of hunting season. You're actually eliminating the areas beforehand that you don't want to go to so it looks like we are not coming back here but it was still worth it i mean the hike alone was great i have never hiked up to 9600 feet this was the highest and it's not too hard and i think i'm getting used to it because it's not hard to breathe i mean i'm out of breath because it's very steep but um, i'm fine so that's a good thought because we'll be at 9000 feet or so most likely anyways, and at least I'm kind of used to it. So, so there's always a win situation, you know, it's a good hike. Um, now we know not to come here. So I'm just making my way back down nice and slow, um, just in case there's something is here. I don't want to miss it. On my way back down, of course, I glassed a little more and I want to tell you about this really cool binocular stabilization system I got from Hawken Wildlife. As you could see, this is basically a harness and it houses your binoculars and it basically has two components. One is the actual stick that will stick up and hold your binoculars. Then there's a connector and there's a pad with a strap that you already have your binoculars strapped onto. And as you could see, it takes just maybe a minute or so to get it together. It takes about the same time as it would take for someone to set up their, um, you know, tripod to use for their binoculars. Now what you can do is you can carry the harness and then when you sit down, you get everything out and put it together. Or you could do what I did. I basically had it in my backpack and then when I sat down, then I got it out. But you don't want to walk with it, having it stand up like that. But once it's in, the really cool thing is that you just hold on to that stick. You don't have to hold up your arms and your hands holding that binoculars. My hands get numb and my arms get tired and I hold the binoculars with one hand and then the other and then both. And maybe it's just me, but I kind of get tired of it. So I lose, um, I lose interest. I mean, I just, I just take down my binoculars a lot quicker. But this way, I just hold on to the stick. And I don't even actually have to hold on to it. I can just um, push my head up against it and it, like my eyes are right in there. And I can actually just use my head to use it sideways or my body to scan up and down. So this is perfect. I mean, I could sit there for half an hour, an hour or longer and just keep glassing to actually do it the way I'm supposed to. So I'm really happy about this. And 
of course you can always adjust it um, you could adjust the tilt to look up and down it just takes a second you can of course adjust the height it really doesn't take that long so I definitely recommend this product. This is really a lifesaver for me. I'm sure other people already, you know, have theirs figured out and they don't mind to get their arms tired and everything. But for me, this is a lifesaver. So this is really, really cool. And after that, when I got back, I was just basically just doing some archery while I could. It looked like it was going to rain and I was at a campsite, so I could only do about... 20 yards and it was okay I guess um, and then it started sprinkling and I was just sitting in my tent once again cooked up in there and I just decided to cut my trip short I packed up and I went home this area is kind of over hunted a lot of times there were a lot of hunters here which I wouldn't mind and it's a really big area which again I wouldn't mind that either but I didn't see any signs. I didn't see anything. It was just, I don't know. I guess it's not supposed to happen. I will be going to another area next week and hopefully that will be the one. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.